UMBC is a mid-sized research university. We're right in the hub of the Washington-Baltimore technological area where there's many national labs, there's lots of high-tech industry, and there are close collaborations between our faculty and members at each of those labs and researchers at each of those industries. The Department of Physics basically is constructed around four different research areas. Astrophysics, atmospheric physics, nanoscience and technology, and quantum optics and quantum information. We have 50 PhD students and 160 undergraduate majors. Atmospheric physics is an area that studies not only remote sensing using satellite observations, but also ground-based observations. So some of our faculty are working with LIDAR to study aerosols and particulates. We have faculty who are interested in cloud physics, faculty who are doing research in wind and turbulence and hurricanes, and faculty who are also interested in making satellite instruments themselves. There has been several breakthroughs in our studies in terms of how man-made pollution is affecting clouds and precipitation. So how is the pollution that we put up in the atmosphere is delaying precipitation or uh, increasing the lifetime of clouds or in some cases killing clouds and change the way the atmosphere recycles the water uh, before it rains. JSAT is the Joint Center for Earth Systems and Technology. So that is a cooperative agreement between UMBC and NASA Goddard and greatly enhances our ability to teach in atmospheric physics and to do research in atmospheric physics because our students and faculty members have access to NASA Goddard facilities and we collaborate directly to NASA Goddard scientists doing all sorts of experiments and modeling activities. The research in quantum information and quantum optics is one of the most famous groups in our department. And these people have been doing cutting edge fundamental science for about 20 years at UMBC. Our research is primarily focused on quantum computing and quantum communications. This is high risk, high payoff kind of research where we're actually building quantum hardware that may have the potential to uh, dramatically influence the way we process information. Nanophysics is a very wide area and we have several faculty working in this area from bottom-up construction of devices from to, and to top-down kinds of destruction. We have people in nanophotonics, people in semiconductor nanotechnology, and people doing magnetics. I work on uh, thin films, surfaces and interfaces trying to understand how to make films that are of the order of a thousand to ten thousand times thinner than human hair and uh, what are the properties of these films and how we can actually change those properties to make them match our desired applications. UMBC's astrophysics group is largely involved with studying active galactic nuclei, galaxies, and cosmology. And they are closely related to the NASA Center, the CREST Center, the Center for Research in Space Science Technology that is cooperatively um, run between us and NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. We have four faculty on campus here working in astrophysics and we're concentrated in high energy astrophysics. So we're working on X-ray data and a little bit on gamma ray data and extra galactic objects, so that's other galaxies and clusters of galaxies. The work we're doing in ultrafast optics centers really in a couple of areas. One is to study materials that are useful for solar energy generation and other kinds of energy conversion. The other area is in telecommunications and applications of optical computing. The major research efforts in my laboratory are centered on ultra-fast phenomena. That is phenomena that occurs on an incredibly short time scale of a picosecond, which is a trillionth of a second, or a femtosecond, which is a thousand times shorter, or a quadrillionth of a second. So I'm really interested in fast processes and semiconductors and biological systems and optical fibers for communications and things of that nature. One of the great things about the physics department at UMBC is that we are small and yet hungry and eager to work with our students. Because of our size of about 20 faculty, we have a very one-on-one -on -one personal relationship with our graduate students. And this makes a big difference in their research and afterwards in their professional careers. Being at UMBC opened the door that proved critical in launching my career. 
I had the opportunity to learn from the leading experts in the field of remote sensing and I had access to cutting-edge research topics. UMBC has a number of useful contacts and a very good working relationship with local laboratories as well as corporations. And this is particularly important when after you defend your thesis, you can uh, uh, use those connections during your job search as well as for securing a postdoctoral position. The future of this department is quite bright. We have brought in excellent faculty, we attract very good students and we're doing terrific research. What we think the future will bring is more of the same at a larger level and will have a larger impact, it's particularly in government research and in technology in the local Baltimore, Washington area. And we intend and strive to be the best physics department that you will find at a mid-sized research university in this nation.